In this tutorial, I'm going to show you one of the fastest way to publish your database on your website. As an example, I have an access database and inside that access database I have a typical table where records are in rows and fields are in columns. It's a database of all of the libraries in California. After this tutorial, I'm going to have a searchable application similar to this one where my users can search by library name or city click search, be presented with the results, and from the results be able to click down into details to see more information regarding that specific library. Publishing your database in your website using Caspio Bridge consists of three steps. Step 1, import data. Step 2, create the searchable application. And step 3, deploy to your website. Step 1, import data. To do that, go to Tables Objects View, click on File, Import Data. We're going to import an existing Microsoft Access database, but notice that you also have several other options, such as Microsoft Excel, CSV, and so on. Click on the Browse button, locate the file that you want to import, click Next. We're going to import the table as a brand new table, but you also have the ability to append or replace an existing table. Click Next, Finish. It says that my import is complete, close, and we're done with step number one, import data. Step number two, creating the search application. To do that, click on Data Pages. Click on the New button to launch the Data Page Wizard. Notice that you have several types of data pages that you can create. In this example, I'm going to create a search and report application. As illustrated by this image, a search and report application consists of three screens. You have the search form, you have the result page, and you have an optional details page. We're going to configure all of these screens in this wizard. This search and report application is going to be linked to the table that we just imported. We're going to leave the default name, style, and localization, but notice that if you click on the drop down, you have several options. We're also going to skip the advanced options because this is an overview. Click Next. It's going to be a search form. Next. We're going to allow our users to search by name and city. Click Next. In this screen, you can configure the form element and the comparison type of your search application. For example, the form element for the library name, we're going to leave it as a text field. But notice that you also have several options. As for the comparison type, I'm going to change it to contains so that it's sort of like a keyword search. As for the city, I'm going to change that to a drop down. Comparison type is equal. The source of this drop down is going to be both the custom values and lookup table. So click both. For the custom values tab, I'm going to have any as a default option. And there's really no value for that so that it will disregard this option when it's selected in the drop down. As for the lookup, I'm going to look up the library's table itself. Field to display is city, field for value is city. Click next. Now we're going to configure the result page. You have different options for layout. In this case, we're going to go ahead and stick with the tabular. Click next. In my result page, I'm going to go ahead and display the name, address, and city. Next. I'm going to leave the default rendering of my fields in the result page, which is text. Click Next. I'm also going to sort my result page based on name. Show 25 records per page. Click Next. I'm going to include details page. Next. And in the details page, that's where I show all of my fields. Click Next. By default, all of the fields in the details will have a form element display only, but if I want my users to update records, I can easily change the form element. Click Finish. It says that my search and report data page was created successfully, close, and we're done with step number two, which is creating the search and report application. Step number three, deploying it to your website. To do that, select the data page that you want to deploy on your web page. Click on the Deploy button. Enable external access to this data page. 
you have several deployment model that you can use, but I'm going to go ahead and use the embedded method because I want to embed it on an existing website. Copy the deploy code, click deploy. I want to go ahead and put that search application on this section of my web page. So what I need to do now is view the source, locate that section of the page, paste the deploy code, save the changes, publish that search application on my website, and click refresh. And you will see that application seamlessly embedded on your web page. You do have the option to customize the look and feel and change this application at any time. You can do that by going to Caspia Bridge and editing that search application. Every time you make a change, you do not need to redeploy all over again. All of the changes will take effect on your website right away. This concludes the tutorial for publishing your database online using Caspia Bridge.